Hi, my name is Jane and on this beautiful sunny afternoon I'm going to show you how to create a floral crown for Garden Day UK. Hello and welcome to our virtual crown workshop um, here at the beautiful grounds of Morton Moral College uh, on behalf of Garden Day UK which is being celebrated this Sunday May the 10th. The idea is everyone that you get out into your green space which is your garden which we're all so grateful to have and just enjoy the space, make a flower crown and take a photograph and upload it onto your various social media platforms. Okay, so the crown I'm going to make is suitable for anyone to make, staff, student, um, or any general pub members of the general public. You don't have to have specific floristry equipment to do it. So the equipment that we need is a wire coat hanger, some pliers, some scissors, some string and some various blooms from your garden. To start the flower crown you need to cut the flower, uh, cut the wire coat hanger and we're going to use the wire coat hanger as a base to attach the flowers onto. So bend it out, you need a bit of welly for this and then form it into a circular shape. You can measure it on your head. Unfortunately, I can't measure it on my head at the moment because I've got this great big enormous crown on. Okay. Right. If you were doing this for um, a wedding, this isn't really a suitable um, method of doing it. So you'd have um, floristry specific methods um, to do this, but this is just for a bit of fun so that everyone can do something on Sunday. Right, once you're happy with the shape, You then need to bend up the ends of the flower crown, ends of the wire coat hanger to make a loop to tie your ribbons into. You can use ribbon, string, raffia, it's just a method of attaching it so that it can fit onto your head. You've got your loops like so and then you attach the ribbons through the loop can't see what I'm doing because I've got wisteria in my face. Okay, so then we go through that loop and knot it onto the wire base. Okay, and the blooms that I've got, I've got um, some lilac, some tulips, which have been grown here in the grounds by the countryside students. Um, I've got eucalyptus and pittosporum and some rosemary. For the underneath of the flower crown, you need to get something like some ivy trails and begin to bind that over the wire base. Attaching little lengths of string and tying them on firmly so that they don't wiggle around too much. After you've chosen your flowers it's a good idea to choose them the day before um, and then condition the flowers. So cut them and put them into deep water and keep them somewhere cool overnight so that they've had a good drink and they're ready for you to use. Continue to twist the base. Like so. So you could use ivy, you could use some beautiful clematis. You could use passion flower vine. Anything that's pliable is suitable for the base and it's just to cover up the wire coat hanger. 
Okay. Then you need to make little bunches of your materials. So I've just put a variety of materials in each different bunch, like so, like that. And then it's just a matter of tying them onto the crown. Try and tie them in two different places. So if you lift it up and tie it underneath onto the branch of eucalyptus, this is testing your knotting skills. Like so. And then tie it over the top, over the end of the bunch. Flower crowns are such a lovely thing to do. Um, such good fun and everyone can join in. Um, it would be great if you could upload pictures onto various so all your social media channels um, and if you hashtag Garden Day UK um, and hashtag Morton Moral College, that would be great. And then just keep building up our flower crown by tying on the small bunches. It'd be quite good fun, wouldn't it, to put one on a dog or a horse or a sheep or a tractor. Let's see who can upload the craziest flower crown picture on Sunday. Right, so I'm just laying one bunch over the next and making sure that the string's tied nice and firmly so that the bunches don't fall off. I think the flower crown I've made is quite large. It keeps falling down over my head, but it's good fun. Um, as florists, we've been looking at ways of um, continuing activity on our social media. Um, and I think uploading a photograph of yourself in a flower crown is a great way to go. Fabulous tulips here and lilac. It's not a great time of year for, um, well, it's a great time of year to get garden materials, but they're all quite new. So when you're picking your ivy, um, just try and make sure that you pick ivy that's nice and dark green and not lime green, um, because the new growth will, um, of the lime green growth, growth will die quite quickly. But as I said, this is just a bit of a fun workshop. If you wanted to learn proper floristry techniques of how to do this and um, then we have various floristry courses here at college um, that you could get in touch with us and we're more than happy to talk to you about. I'll continue on with this lilac. Certainly lilac is beautiful at this time of the year. It smells heavenly. And just keep tying in two places if you can, and then that ensures that the crown is nice and stable. Then it's a matter of cutting off all the ends of the string, grabbing a model if you can. Because of social distancing, I'm unable to use a model this time. Um, but there we go, there's your finished flower crown. Done. Bye.